Hey ladies, I hope that you all are doing really well. I'm so excited to share this video with you all today. So I don't have that much um, planned, but I think what I do, I think that it's gonna be significant and um, a time saver for my family. And I hope that you all will get some motivation from this as well. This is the first weekend that we have free in a while because the boys were doing flag football and then it was our anniversary, which we had such an amazing time. Um, we just walked around Greenville. We had um, dinner and lunch and breakfast and all that good stuff. And then we also had a chance to go to our very first jazz lounge. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of the place. I feel like it was blue. I don't know. I'll think of it and um, I'll include it in the description box in case you all are ever in Greenville and want to try it Today, out. I'm going to be making pancakes and cinnamon rolls and I may do um, raisin bread or raisin cake. So I found this recipe years ago for depression era raisin cake and my family absolutely loves it. And so I'm trying to decide if I wanna, I've never tried it, I don't think I have anyways, in like muffin form. And so I'm trying to decide if I wanna try that out or not. Um, but I'm gonna start off with pancakes. I'm gonna make some little mini pancakes because my kids really like those and it's just perfect to have in the freezer. So this was our free weekend and then now until the end of the year. <laughs> There's something going on like every weekend. And so I think that these are just gonna be really great items to have in the freezer. And of course, I'll have to go in and replenish them because it's not gonna last our family um, the rest of the year. <laughs> but it'll help on some of those days where we're really pressed for time, where we can just go in the freezer and pull out some items and be good to go. Cause we actually still have, when I did the cookies, I think we have like maybe four cookies left so I'm really, really excited. So let's get started.
left, the kids ate seven. So all together it would have been um, 29. But this is perfect for us. Um, this will serve us for at least two breakfasts. So I'm going to stick these in the freezer so that they can freeze a little bit and then I'll put them in a bag and they'll be ready to go. While the pancakes are in the freezer, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the raisin cake, which I plan to turn into muffins. Um, like I said, this is the recipe that I've been using for years and it is so delicious. Like it's really moist and the ingredients are so simple. Um, I'm pretty sure I found this on Pinterest. I'll try to remember to link to the original recipe um, down below or one as close as I can find okay, to it. This is it. As you can see it's been well loved but it's just a couple raisins two cups of water butter baking soda um, salt sugar cinnamon and nutmeg um, you can add walnuts or pecans whatever kind of nuts you want to if you want to and then a little bit of flour you're gonna boil the raisins add the butter let it cool add everything else and then just bake it so super simple but super delicious down and cool and I'm gonna keep on working on the rest of the ingredients. Even though it was anything but quiet in my house while I was doing this because the football games were on and the kids were kind of back and forth outside playing I was still kind of in my own little world just baking and that was just so relaxing and so much fun to me. I just really enjoyed it. Hey, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down So while I'm waiting for this to cool, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze these. They're not frozen solid yet, but they're frozen enough where they're not sticking together and I'm gonna go ahead and bag these. I'm not sure how many I'll be able to get in here, but I'm gonna try my best. These are just perfect because the kids can just go in and pull out a couple if they just want a snack or if they're ready for breakfast. I think we're gonna make it all in this one bag. So you could date these, but in my house, <laughs> I know these are going to be gone within the month. So I'm just going to go ahead and let me try to get some more air out of these. And then I'm going to just stick them in the freezer. Oh, yeah. And these will be ready for whenever somebody wants some pancakes.
these are done and they smell amazing the other two are still in the oven because i put them in a little bit after so they just have like another minute and they'll be done too i'm gonna let these rest while i finish up this last um what is it <laughs> this last bowl to wash <laughs> and then by that time they should be ready to come out too and these will be ready to go on the cooling is clean and i'm ready to get back to baking so i'm going to go ahead and start taking these out look at there oh it smells so it smells so good something about boiling those raisins it just makes them you know so nice and plump and they also go all the way like throughout the muffin or throughout the cake it doesn't just sink to the bottom but these are going to be so nice for breakfast with some tea one morning or maybe some hot chocolate because tis the season for hot chocolate <laughs> i know we've been having our fair share especially since it's been so chilly here it's been down in the 20s every night well just about i think it's up for one night it might have been in the 30s um, here for the past week but I am not complaining I am loving it I love this snuggle weather some of my fondest memories are during the winter snuggling up on the couch with my mom and dad under a blanket watching shows and this one these little silicones they pop out super easy too and they're like little heart shaped too so I got 14, ooh, that's really hot. I got 14 all together and um, it'll take these a while to cool off. While my pan is nice and warm, I am gonna go ahead and wash that out right quick. But y'all already saw me wash dishes, so <laughs> I'll spare you. <laughs> And then I'll get started on the cinnamon roll. In the middle of my baking session, Bernard came in and told me that the battery in our car had died. He had actually been cleaning the car out um, earlier in the day, but the battery died and he had taken it to AutoZone or one of those places. And I'm pretty sure they used to put the battery in for free if you um, purchased the battery there. But I guess though they no longer do it. And so luckily he was able to purchase the battery and then bring it home um, because we had the tools that we needed and he was able to put it on himself. And so I'm so grateful for that. And the car is back running just fine and dandy. So I'm so, so grateful and so thankful that um, he was able to do that. And also so grateful for YouTube too. <laughs> I mean, anything that you wanna know how to do, just get on YouTube and you can definitely find it out. YouTube has a wealth of information. Like I can't tell you how many things I've been able to fix just going on YouTube and doing a quick search or on Google One. Like it's just amazing what you'll be able to find out. So happy I was able to get all 14 in this bag. One's kind of stuck up on top of the other ones, but it's okay. They'll all fall into place. <laughs> I'm going to put these in the freezer and then get started on the cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to do a little experiment here. I don't have any almond milk. So hopefully this will work just as well with coconut milk. And I need two cups. So I think I'm going to do about a half a cup or no, one cup of coconut milk and then another cup of water just so it won't be as thick so the butter and milk are cooling and then i'll just add the yeast and sugar and let it do its thing for a while but my goal is to make 20 cinnamon rolls i'm doubling the recipe we'll see how this is but i'm using um the minimalist bakers recipe for cinnamon rolls and they're called the world's easiest cinnamon rolls i'll link them down below and it's only seven ingredients 
And so there's two different, well, there's probably more than two, but um, I know that there's two ways <laughs> that you can freeze cinnamon rolls. So one of my favorite recipes used to be from um, Mills Kitchen Cafe. I think it was her aunt's famous recipe. She would make it for people during the holidays. And I think she also made it for like, um, it was something at her church I remember reading the story and she made it for. But it calls for like a maple glaze and it is just absolutely divine. But that one has a few more steps. Um, and so I'm not gonna do that one today. But in that one, they bake it and frost it and freeze it. And then you can just pop it out of the freezer whenever you want something sweet, which is a really great idea in theory, but um, it's not such a great idea for me because I think I would be a little too tempted to go <laughs> and pop one out of the freezer a little too often because sweets are my weakness. <clears throat> So I don't think I'm gonna bake mine. I think I'm just going to um, go ahead and do all the steps and then stick them in the freezer. And then whenever we get ready to pull them out, then I can let them um, rise and then bake them that way. But the main part of it will be done. And then while they're baking, um, I'll just have to make the little, not frosting, icing same thing <laughs> make that to go on top so now i'm just going to add two right yeah two tablespoons of sugar in here and then add my yeast now i'm going to add both packets of my yeast i'm going to give this a stir and let this activate for 10 minutes go for 10 minutes now it's nice and fluffy i'm gonna add my salt and then go ahead and start adding my flour i'm gonna go ahead and add my salt and i'm doubling this recipe so hopefully all of this flour is gonna fit in we shall see i'm gonna start adding the flour. You know what? I better get a spoon. I just feel like this is just gonna go kaplop. <laughs> and you know what? How am I going to mix it? I have. Wow. Wow. Okay. Here we go. So this is six cups of flour already measured out. And after I add this flour and get it all mixed up, then it's supposed to rise for an hour, which is perfect because I've already started on my dinner. So I'll be able to get that finished up. But I guess I better start here. So let's do some mixing and let this go. Oh, while this is mixing, I wanted to show you all. It's like floured up now. <laughs> but I found this really cute little phone stand at Dollar Tree. And it's really been helpful in here today. So I really like it. And for $1.25, not too bad. So that's mixing pretty good. We're going to go ahead and add the rest of this flour. So it can all come together and go ahead and start the rising process. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Let's see how the rest of this does. Starting to slow down. It's like, what are you doing to me? You can do it. No, oh, it's really coming away from the bowl. I always like to see that. I feel like I've done something right when I see it. Well, coming away from the bowl like that. 
I think I better ooh, help this out a little bit and get this down a bit. Because it's trying to climb. We don't want that. We want all of this to stay in the bowl. Okay, that's better. Now I'm going to let this mix some more and then cover it so it can start the rising process. All we can do is try and it would be so nice to have 20 cinnamon rolls on hand a day like mine from sandy and citrus i'm talking about <laughs> the any cinnamon rolls and they're so delicious but if you guys saw i guess my second to last grocery haul i found them at um here's two drum still for six Mm, no, I wish six for eleven. Two for eleven. And Publix used to run a special. It wasn't, it was maybe like once a month or maybe once every two months where they would um, have it BOGO, but they have not had that sale in a while. And so they're pretty expensive. Um, but these are just, if these work out the way that I hope that they will, and I think they'll turn out great. I mean, it's cinnamon and sugar and dough, so <laughs> it'll be fine. But what a wonderful thing to have on hand and time saving and cost effective. And I think cinnamon rolls are beautiful Christmas gifts to give or receive. I mean, I think we have cinnamon rolls for breakfast almost every um, Christmas. And so I know I would definitely love to receive cinnamon rolls for a gift. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and let this, um, I'll set my timer and let this rise. Here it goes. I'm gonna have this and go ahead and roll it out so we can get them in the freezer.
cinnamon rolls the muffins and the pancakes and i am just so delighted to have those things in my freezer and ready to go whenever we need them i just know that it's going to be a tremendous time saver for me especially on the days where maybe i don't have enough time or if i just want to take my time and doing you know something else at least i'll know i have a couple items for um, a fun breakfast prepared because usually like some mornings, to be honest, we have leftovers and then it's usually oatmeal. 
Um, but on, you know, some mornings where we want something a little different, at least we'll have some options already ready to go in the freezer. So I am really happy with the way everything turned out. I know that I need to work on my rolling skills <laughs> with cinnamon rolls. I just, I'm not able to roll it as tightly as I want to yet, but it's okay because I'm going to keep practicing and I'll get it because um, that recipe that I used was super simple and it wasn't intimidating to me at all. And so I think that's really the key about it is that sometimes we can get really intimidated by things and we say, well, I'm just not even going to attempt it because it's going to be too much. But that was a really simple recipe and easy to follow. And I know the more that I practice with the rolling, the better off I will um, be and the better I'll get at it. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see myself improve and I know that I can do that. So that'll be fun. Um, I don't have as many containers <laughs> as I thought I did. So I guess because I'm used to putting my things in the freezer, like the beans and stuff, I thank goodness I had these um, Ziploc bags because my containers just wouldn't contain um, the items that I needed and for the amount that I needed. So I think I'm gonna look into some of those reusable um, Ziploc bags. I think that those will be really good, especially now with doing some extra baking and stuff. I think that that'll be really good for me. So I'm gonna look into those. They seem to be pretty reasonable, especially when you think about how long they'll last. And um, so I'm excited about that too. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. Thank you all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I hope that wherever you are, that you are warm and safe. And um, I will see you all really soon. Bye.